I wanted to share with you all some travel tips that come in handy for me. fully unpacked since my last trip which was in what March yeah I have not fully unpacked don't judge me so when I travel whether I'm traveling or not I am very particular about my soul I have sensitive skin and I'm very particular about my soul so what I do is I always put a bar of soap in my carry-on and or in my book bag most of the time I have two so I have one in my carry-on, one in my book bag. Why? Because if they ever lose my luggage, then I will still have my soap. Because they do sell a version of the soap that I use at Maroons in the Gambia. But they want almost $6 for one bar, y'all. Mm. Yeah, so I would just bring my own, right? So for reasons that I'm not going to talk about right now <laughs> but I did not have I was running low on soap and I said oh every day I said in my mind you have to buy soap you have to buy soap order soap order soap order soap mm -mm. no Tay Tay waited until the last minute until I had the little bitty piece of soap right so I'm putting it in my washcloth for those who use washcloths. Putting it in a washcloth, trying to lather up the lather up the washcloth, lather up the washcloth. I'm like, oh my goodness. I even called my mom and was like, hey, do you have any extra bars and I'll replace them, right? She was like, no. <laughs> She's been sharing the soap too. So upon me opening up my carry-on to look for something else. I found a bar of soap. I was like, woo, woo. Now I already ordered my two dozen. However, uh, it's probably gonna take seven to 10 days. Yeah. So I am excited that that travel tip came in handy. If my luggage is ever lost, thank God, yalla bahna, my luggage has never been lost. But if my luggage is ever lost, this is why I keep certain things in my book bag, because that's my personal bag, and in my carry-on. And soap is one of those things. So if you have a staple product that is detriment, that if you lose it, right, or if you don't have it, yeah, I'm not gonna say it's gonna be detrimental to your health. I'm not gonna say that. So if you have a product that is a staple in your personal care regimen, I would suggest you do what I do. You probably do do what I do, right? But some people do not know how to pack. So this is why I share my travel tips with you all because some people are like, oh, I don't do that. Oh, I packed the night before. Tay Tay packed two, three months before she's about to leave. Mm -hmm. Because I don't know what I wanna wear. I don't know, so I, what I do know if I know 100% I'm going to wear this, then I take it and I throw it over in, into the suitcase. Nothing is rolled up and fully packed. It's just, all right, I know I'm taking that. Let me just throw that in the suitcase. All right, I'm taking that or I'm just throwing that in the suitcase. That's how I do it because I don't like to work under pressure when it comes to me traveling or packing, especially if I'm going, if I'm staying in the States, it doesn't matter. If I forget my soap, I'm like, okay, let me ship some, let me buy. I, I'm still in the States. But if I'm leaving the country and a staple product that's in my personal care regimen, I can't get, mm, yeah, especially my soap, right? You need soap. Keep your body clean. I don't do shower gel and I just don't, I don't like it. I, I like soap, so. That is my travel tip that I'm sharing with you all. Are there any travel tips that you have that is a staple in your personal care regimen? Then drop it in the comments below. And I will see you in the next video. Yeah.